So I went up to the mailbox today and this was inside. This is an upgraded controller so that I can run Lightburn with my K40 laser. Can't wait to get this installed. They sent a video and an email along with this package here so that I can follow along their video. I don't know how that's gonna go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a dry run. I'm gonna install all this first and then I will cut a video for you that will make this incredibly easy. I'll take out all the problems that I had and I will eliminate those steps for you so that this can be a very quick, and very painless process for you. All right, let's see what comes in the box here. We've got a couple of sets of instructions, a little picture diagram, got a couple of wires. I think there's four different harnesses in there. Got a USB cable, some small hand tools. That's kind of handy there. Small screwdriver and uh, nut driver. And then there's the actual controller itself. Pretty nice little package here, Monpour put together. Step number one, you need to rewire your limit switches. This is quite easy. All you have to do is identify them. There are these green boxes right here. They were on the left side of my laser. But you can see the wiring over here on the left as is. All you need to do is disconnect that wire, put it in the middle. You can solder that on there or simply twist that wire on there and you're good to go. Step number two, you need to disconnect all the wires here that are connected via wire harnesses to the power station. You can see there's four right there that I'm pointing to. And then over here on the controller itself, there's four as well. So all you need to do is just with a little bit of persistence is wiggle these off. You don't want to pull anything too hard because you don't want to break anything, but just wiggle them back and forth. They'll pop off. So once you have one side done, all you need to do now is come over to the other side. This is the controller. Pop these off. There's a little bit of hot glue that Monpour put in there just to make sure they stay, but just pop them off. No big deal. There you go. All right, your next step is you need to take the controller out of the laser itself. There's a small bracket that actually holds this on with these couple of nuts right here. And then there's one up a little bit higher on the right side. So included with this controller upgrade kit, there was that small bag of tools. There's a small wrench in there. You can just use that wrench to pop these nuts off. They come off real easy. There's two down low and one up high. Once you loosen those and you pop those off, you can just kind of wiggle this thing back and forth. And this whole bracket will come out with the old controller. Here is the new controller. See, it looks actually quite nice. And then on the back, there are four bolts. So you will just basically replace it just as I'm showing here. You'll take the old one off of this bracket and then use these bolts here to tighten it back on to this new bracket. The first set of wires you're gonna connect are the power wires right here in the upper left corner. You're basically just gonna take one of these new harnesses that they give you in the package. It's got a red and a black. You just screw those into there. And then the other side will be this harness and that's just gonna to connect to the power station right here. Clip it in and you're ready to go on that one. The next set of wires you're gonna connect are the stepper motor wires. There are two slots down here in the lower left corner right here that I'm pointing to. You just slide them in there. Make sure you have your X and your Y correct. If not, the laser will just run a little funny and all you have to do is pop those off and put them back on until it works correctly. Pretty simple. Now you need to connect your limit switches. Those are right there in the top row near the right. There's only a couple slots open so you will just connect those right into there. Pretty simple, you can see they just snap right in there. And now the other side of this is a little harness that will connect to a harness 
coming out of your laser. Now you need to connect the laser power harness. So on the left side of this control, you'll see that middle port right there. Take one of the wires included in the package, noted right there, clip that into there. And then the other side will be this harness here. This is a three pin harness. So it will just clip into the spot right here on the control powerhouse with three pins. Snap that in there and you're all good to go. So this is what it should look like right here. You've got your controller with all of those wires you connected there and then all of the wires on the power station. The last thing to do is connect this USB right by that power switch, but go back through, make sure everything is clipped in correctly, everything's secure on your controller. And then also down here in the power station, this white wire here, you are not gonna use. This was an old cable that went from the power station up to the control pad that was on the top of your laser. So now that you've successfully upgraded your controller, none of this is gonna be used. All of your power settings and any of your laser switches and your tests and any of that, that's gonna be run through Lightburn. So you don't need this at all. So I actually disconnected mine and I put my controller front and center right there. I thought it looked so cool. It's got a couple of lights here. This light will be red. When I plug it into my laptop, that'll be red. And then there's a green light back here that'll light up when the laser's actually firing. But I thought that looked really cool, so that's what I decided to do. So I don't necessarily suggest doing this yourself until you check with Monport to see if this will void your warranty. But they sent you the controller, so they do want you messing around in here anyway. So it might not, but I thought that looked awesome. I thought it was a nice little feature here to kind of bring this controller to the front because it is a very nice controller. All right, now that you've hit the power button on your surge protector and everything turned on how it's supposed to, you've got your fan, you've got your air assist, your limit switches, and your controller actually lights up right there. You are almost done. All you need to do now is plug this cord into your USB on your laptop do one quick setup in light burn and you'll be cutting in no time. All right, I've loaded up light burn here. In this menu here, you'll see a button down here that says devices. Click devices. Now I've already installed this, but if I did not, come down here to find my laser. Make sure your USB is connected, which mine is. Click next. It's gonna look for your laser. There it is, it found it. So it's telling you that it's a 300 by 200 millimeter, which is basically what it is. It's just under 12 inches by just under nine inches. So then you will just click right here. You will click add device and it'll take you through that process. So right now I have my controller set up right here. So then down here, I will just change this over to Monport. You can see that busy line came on there. Basically what the machine is doing is it is homing and now it's ready to go. It's just that simple. So what I've done is I've just quickly typed up right here. Thanks Monport, because I appreciate the control board that you guys sent me. You can see that your job origin is in the upper left. You can change that over here. You can go center, upper left, wherever you want. Once you think you've got it right, you can click the frame button right here. Once you have all this installed, everything will be ran through Lightburn instead of your actual laser and that control pad on the top. Any of your cuts in your layers will be over in here. You can jog your laser through these, these cursors here. You can see every time I click that, that green line goes on. So that means it's talking to the laser. But you'll have to mess around with Lightburn. Get into here, do some pretty cool stuff. I hope you were able to follow along. If you have any questions, or any comments, anything I can do better in this video, please let me know. And until next time, take it easy.